Tom, Boston United, another away trip this weekend. What are your thoughts ahead of this one? I'm looking forward to the game. <clears throat> um, I was pleased with picking a point up on Tuesday night. Uh, I think one, one or two people um, around, around the place, you know, m maybe thought or maybe expected us to win um, comfortably at Ever Sleep. And I think all the, you know, if you add in all the extra bits and bobs that surrounded that game before, during and after it, you know, nobody's got a divine right to, to go anywhere and win any game. You've got to give them credit for having a reaction. Cost somebody their job before they had one, which I don't, I don't think is particularly good. But ultimately, we only have to deal with what we have to deal with. And it was a clean sheet away from home um, and a point, away, point more than we got there last season. So for me, I, I'm, I'm pleased with how we reacted to Saturday. It was much more positive performance. Um, and once the noise around was they should have won, in, in my eyes, the metrics of the game tells me now they shouldn't because they didn't score a goal. <clears throat> Neither did we, but we were in control of the game far more than we were last Saturday. And that, that's a positive for me. Talking about us not scoring a goal, it makes it two games <clears throat> in a row we haven't scored a goal, which, you know, normally isn't that bad a run at all. But when you look at our history, which is testament to us, by the way, we don't go that often without scoring goals, do we? So what are we going to do this weekend to make sure we do hit the back of the net? Well, the message from us and the, 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 the practices and the training and the methods we use won't change. You know, we believe in the players. We believe in the group. We don't, we don't have favourites. And I understand emotion sometimes. One or two people with probably not as much intelligence as you and I will say things that become into the public domain and they can never get it back. So they have an opinion on certain individuals that sometimes comes back to bite them on the backside, which has happened with one or two players who are currently still in the squad. So listen, at the end of the day, we're all one in this room on the training ground and on, on a match day, whether it's a Saturday or Tuesday. I want every single player to take the pitch with an older shot badge on the front to give their all. And I know that they're doing that. Um, here's a stat for you. You know, there's 11 games on Tuesday night and only four teams out of 22 took any points away from home. I keep saying this, the best manager in this division last season kept telling me, Tom, every point away from home is precious. And it is, you know, the fact that we lost at home have a go at us for that. We don't do that very often, Touchwood. And the way that Rochdale celebrated that win would suggest they thought that was a massive achievement. So let's just take a step back and have a look at where we are. Um, and I don't think we're in such, such a bad place, actually. Well, yeah, exactly. I think a lot of the talk as well, wasn't it, during the summer and last season was about the defensive record. So the clean sheet on Tuesday is nothing but a positive, is it? Hugely. Like I said, at the end of the day, the fact, like I said, someone lost his job the day before we played them. There's always going to be some sort of reaction from the group. There was huge changes in their team. There was an energy level increase, whatever you want to call it. But look at the, look at the game. And it's a nil-nil game. Both teams could have scored. I believe for the control we had in the first, first half in particular, we should have scored. They, they were always on the break, you know, a little bit rushed with their opportunities. It is what it is. Look, it's, it's gone as far as I'm concerned. It's a point more than we had before we went to, to Ebsley, something we didn't achieve last season. Uh, and if we, if we picked up a point every game away from home, I'd be delighted at the end of the season. Absolutely delighted. Because if we were to mirror that with what we did at home last season, then we'd be in a much better place. So again, you know, sometimes it's like baby, baby steps. You've got to understand where we were 12 months ago. We had a brand new group then. I don't think we had 11 points at this stage of the, the season. So... I know what my targets are, but I don't want to put things out there in a public domain to go, oh, they're falling short here or they're falling short there. We know what we want to do, but ultimately, how many people have got nine goal scorers this season? Not many. And looking ahead to this Saturday, obviously, Boston United, the opponents, a team that's just come up, which, again, you're going to have people saying that we probably should beat them because of that. But we've seen so far this season, haven't we, that, you know, they're, they're, they're here on merit, these sides, and they, they shouldn't be taken lightly. Yeah, I mean, listen, it wasn't a million years ago that they were in the Football League. So, you know, they've got good coaching staff and management there. He knows what he's doing. He's got a real identity in the way he plays, Ian. Um, excellent venue, great great little stadium. The pitch is usually really good. So, again, I expect two teams to want to play football. I mean, the last two games, in my opinion, have been proper games of football. The ball's been on the pitch more than it's been off the pitch, which hasn't been the case in about three or four of the games we've played. So... Look, every, I keep saying this to you and I'm going to keep saying it to you. Every single game is a one-off project for us. Who plays? There's a lots of factors and mitigating factors as to why certain players are starting or have started and will start or don't start. And it's nothing to do with me liking them more than the next person, trust me. I know them better than anybody outside this room. 
in their private lives, in their athletic life, in their working life. And so I think I'm in the best position possible to, to try and make the best decision for everybody, not, not for the person who likes Tom, Dick or Harry. The person who loves Aldershot Football Club should trust me and, and I'm, I'm doing the best I can with what I've got.